Hey guys, what's up? This is Diggy and in today's video, I want to show you how to use the Nano Ledger S. All right. So it's a hardware wallet, as you can see over here, if you've ordered one already. So basically, there's two types of hardware wallets at the moment. That's the Nano Ledger S and that is the Trezor. All right. So this video is all about the Nano Ledger S. It's basically a way of keeping your cryptocurrency secure. OK, so step number one is always to get your cryptocurrency off an exchange. OK, that's the first step, because keeping it on an exchange, you don't know if that exchange is legit. All right. If they are one day just going to wake up and their website is not going to be there anymore, um, if the government's going to seize them, if your funds are going to be frozen, you don't know. Right. So keeping any funds on an exchange is a risk. So. The first step that you could do without having a Nano Ledger or a Trezor would be to move your crypto into a wallet, like a paper wallet. You can use something like My Ether Wallet, um, and you could actually use a, a password and a key phrase to be able to access this without having a hardware wallet. Now, the problem with that is that you'd have to enter this manually, okay? So that means either some people are gonna store that, that password or key phrase on their computers, which is a very bad idea because computers can get hacked, malware, etc. Or the other option is even if you do write that down manually on a piece of paper and you type it in every single time, when you type it in, if you have malware installed on your computer, like there's there's malwares that are key loggers that basically record every keystroke that you make so even if you type it in and you think you're being secure with it if you have that malware in your computer someone could just be copying that log in steal all your stuff right and even if you're using something like um, like a bluetooth keyboard or something you know you don't know how advanced this tech stuff is there's actually things that could tap into bluetooth frequencies and and wireless frequencies and stuff when you're typing with key logging so it's dangerous okay so that's why the solution is you know a hardware wallet because what it means is that you can access my ether wallet you can access these online wallets without having to type anything in so simply by having this nano ledger all right and you're able to plug it into your computer you're able to basically enter your password or your key phrase without having it to type it in so that removes the chance of it being uh, you know key logged or, or malware seeing what you're typing in and that kind of stuff which basically just makes it the most safe way to currently store your cryptocurrency right another thing is that also even if you plug these into an infected machine as far as i know you can plug it into a machine with malware you can log into your your wallet and you won't it will still be secure okay that's why it is it's tamper proof it's nice all right so the ledger wallet it's, it's a very simple simple little device it looks like a usb stick and of course it has um it has a little uh, like LED display okay and, and it basically give you instructions it'll ask you to confirm stuff and you can order it here like on the official site so that's ledgerwallet.com and um, don't order it from anywhere else okay don't order it from Amazon don't order it from anyone else any third party right you want to order it directly from the source and you want to make sure you know that it's that it hasn't been tampered with now with with the ledger nano s they claim that it is tamper proof okay so like unlike the Trezor um, which I actually do. I have one over here. The Trezor comes in a tamper tamper proof box. Okay, it's like super super secured up um, very much uh, Like you can't open this very easily. Okay, it's super glued together, right? And that's because there's still possibility of if someone actually gets the Trezor um, they can mess with the memory or something. I don't know I like I, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Okay, but apparently the ledger is totally tamper proof. Okay, so that's a good thing so once you get your ledger, you can order it from the side. It's 58 euros plus shipping. It ends up working out about 100 US dollars. All right, you get it shipped to you and usually pretty quickly. I got mine in like a week. Um, so that goes pretty quickly. And then what you need to do, okay, you'll you'll set up your ledger, right? You open the box and um, basically you plug it into your computer with a USB cable and that allows you to set up your seed phrase, okay? Which again is 24 words, very unique words um, in a way um, that's that's almost impossible to hack like specific words in a specific order um, It's just really really secure which means that in case you lose your device You still have your your key phrase those 24 words you will be able to recover Your and, and restore whatever is on your nano s. All right, so that's a good thing That's why you want to keep that seed key safe because if someone else gets it They can re recover your wallet, right? So you want to keep that in a safe location. You want to make sure also that nothing can happen to it, even if it's in a safe location, okay? Water damage, fire damage, who knows, right? If something happens to that, you lose your ledger, you lose your seed key, your your crypto is locked in blockchain forever, 
and you know that would be sad so of course make sure that you have your seed key in multiple places in safe locations right and of course then take good care of your nano ledger s right so to be able to use it um it, it is pretty simple okay and i do suggest using this with a macbook i mean I, I suggest using a mac anyway i grew up with windows computers and ever since i started using a mac i haven't gone back okay um really just mac is so much better it's so much nicer no freezing less viruses less malware all that kind of stuff you still get it i guess but way 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 less than windows okay so my advice is if you don't have a macbook yet look into it all right anyway it does still work with windows so don't worry if you have a windows computer you can use it with windows that's perfectly fine so you want to go to the apps section over here and um, basically what it allows you to do if you click on apps um, it'll tell you over here whatever different apps you, you want to do okay and you can install over here so you can install the bitcoin and altcoin wallets you can install the ethereum and the Le the ripple um wallet okay so what you want to do over here is basically just install the ledger manager so you need google chrome installed for this to be able to work and it's it's pretty simple all right so let me just log into this real quick log into the ledger manager all right so basically this is what it looks like all right and and it's very easy to use so these are currently the different cryptocurrencies that the ledger supports so um, I'm not going to read them all out. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, obviously Ethereum, Litecoin. They have Neo on here, Arc also, which is pretty cool. And of course, over time, um, what will happen is that more currencies will get supported on this, which is awesome. All right. So one thing that you need to know, and, and I discovered this, this took me a while to figure out in the beginning, is basically at the moment while I'm making this video is that basically the ledger only supports four different apps on it at the same time. So um, <laughs> basically we're like in the stone age and we're using one of those like brick Nokia phones, you know, that, that you could probably kill someone with like it's, you know, way back in the day. So the technology is still only starting and it's cool. It works, but you know, it's going to get way better in future. So right now this only has enough memory to be able to take four apps at the same time. Now this does not mean that you can install, you cannot use, um, more than four different cryptocurrencies it means that every time you want to use more than four you're going to have to delete the app install the other one and and use that to access your cryptocurrency all right so for example let's say i have bitcoin bitcoin cash dash and dogecoin if i want ethereum on it i'm going to have to delete one of those then install ethereum and then you know i can go back and, and delete ethereum and it, do, it doesn't mean i'm deleting my cryptocurrency it just means the access app that I'm going to be using, it can only take four of them, all right? So also quite simply, um, if you're gonna do long-term cold storage, just go and buy a bunch of these ledgers, all right? Just use buy different ones for different cryptocurrencies. Yes, it costs a little bit more, but if you're working with you know, large amounts of cryptocurrency, it's totally worth it. You wanna be safe with this stuff anyway, okay? So just get one for Bitcoin, one for you know Bitcoin Cash, one for Ethereum, or split it up amongst a few different devices. I think that would be smart anyway. So over here, then you can go and choose which four you want. Let's just say, for example, we're going to use um, we're going to use Litecoin, all right? Because I actually just uh, installed the Litecoin app, and I actually just sent half a Litecoin, which at the moment is about 100 US dollars, um, just to test it out and and to show you guys, all right? So I install the Litecoin app. Just simply click on the download arrow. Very easy. It's actually already installed, so um, this is obviously not going to do anything. But that's that's really how easy it is that you would need to do, all right? So then what we would need to do is litecoin is accessible through the bitcoin and altcoin wallets okay so you'd go over here you'd go through the bitcoin and altcoin wallets you install the chrome application okay so the ledger wallet for bitcoin very easy so over here just simply click on the chrome application ledger wallet for bitcoin all right you simply click on install you add it to chrome and that is that and then you simply log in so so this is what it looks like. You have your ledger wallet for Bitcoin. And then over here on the application, you would simply go into the Litecoin app. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm just holding it in front of the camera. But basically, you just go into the Litecoin app. You double click, you use the two buttons. And over here, it starts opening this up. All right. And when we do this, so obviously you have legacy, which is the original Bitcoin. And then the SegWit protocol. We're going to go for legacy. It's important to do with Litecoin you want to use the legacy protocol okay so you simply click on this it's going to open your wallet 
and we're gonna see I sent this about uh, about 10 minutes ago and yeah you can see I have half a Litecoin which is currently worth hundred and thirty two dollars and guys that's how simple it is obviously if you want to use Bitcoin you're gonna go into the Bitcoin app and then access the Bitcoin wallet you know you have a different ripple wallet so if you want to do the same with for example ripple and you want to store that you'd have to enter the, follow the same process but just for the ripple wallet it's as simple as that guys it's very easy if you click on this obviously you just have send and receive you get your receive address and if you want to ship it out you click on send and that's basically how to use it. So um, it did take me a while initially the first time I used this. It took me about 30, 40 minutes to figure this stuff out simply because there wasn't a tutorial that I had like this. All right, that's why I'm making it for you guys. Once you get used to it, it's really simple. It's really easy to use. I really like the Nano Ledger S. Um, it's, it, it looks nice. It looks solid. It looks good. It feels good in your hands. And uh, basically, you know, it's, that's how you use the Ledger S. And of course, over time, this will start improving. Okay, we'll be able to get more memory in these. It'll be more efficient. It'll be easier to use. But right now, it is actually pretty simple to use. And this is right now the safest way to store your cryptocurrency. So I do highly recommend that you don't keep your money on exchanges. You don't use a paper wallet where you have to manually enter your password, but you use a Nano Ledger S or a Trezor. Okay, there's nothing wrong with a Trezor. I have both. You can split it over different devices. And this video was obviously just to show you guys how to use the Nano Ledger S. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button. As always, I will see you in the next one.